Yes, my name is Ben Chen. You may have seen this on the Star Made Reddit. This is my convoluted, really crazy landing gear. Now, it kind of slips down and folds out, and it might look very intimidating at the moment, but it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it is pretty intimidating, to be honest. Took me a little while to get this working, but on the whole, it's just a whole bunch of systems all laid on top of each other. Let's hit the button and check it out. So first thing, I've got the green light, which does have the other texture on it because that's just how it's been done. And we've also got a red light. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, in your landing gear systems, is make sure you know if your landing gear is still in the process of going down or if it's out or whatever's going on. Um, so if we hit the button, you'll see it goes red. Our landing gear starts coming down. And then it unfolds like so. And a little light lights up on the bottom. We also can see up here it's gone green again, which is cool. But this is our landing gear extended out and all the lights on the bottom, which is really cool. We've got quite a large surface area. And it is fantastic. Now this button's hooked up to the other one so we can watch what's happening a bit easier. You can see it all folds up and then retracts in and it's done it's gone now if we fly up you'll see this whole top section's lit up green um, and this green here so we know that that's fully retracted and closed off and the other one is all the way up you can see the lights go off as well so what is the setup for this one well if we drop it down we can take a look so we've got a couple of different elements here you can see there's a whole heap of these little icons everywhere. Um, so, the first thing is, this is, would be our main ship while we're currently flying around. It's got the big hazard lattice around it, and then it's got the main linear rail for our actual going up and down of the actual landing gear. You can see it here. Now, if we fly down at the bottom of the landing gear, we have all these little rail, little corner sections and movement. And you can see we've got a little pad that's docked to each of them to follow that movement. Now, if we fly up, you'll notice in here there's a whole heap of logic, but it's broken up into four different sections. That's so that we each section handles just the stuff for this one side. Now there is also one other detection button there, so that every time it moves and goes into the next place where it gets locked, this will actually do a little pulse. And we've set it up with these wireless logic blocks, where we get a little pulse that we can detect when it's extended. And also when it's retracted, and then we've also got one to actually trigger toggling between the two, so the movement. Now over here, we've got a whole heap of logic as well. We've got detection for when we're um, all the way down and all the way up. And then essentially what else we've got is that when we hit the button to go, if it's all the way down, we actually send a active signal to change to our actual landing gear. So it's going to pull everything up and then when it detects that everything's closed off, then this actual landing gear sends the trigger back to this linear rail to toggle so that it um, retracts up. So it's not going to actually retract uh, up into the actual ship until these uh, landing pads are folded back up. So you don't have things colliding with each other. Similarly, when it's actually going down, so we'll demonstrate that first. You can see the three flashed and then the four flashed here, or the three, four, um, when we go back up, which is great. Similarly, when we go down, we're going to have this bottom one detect when we've reached the bottom, and that's going to send a trigger back over here to our landing gear to actually do a change. So when we're retracting, the landing gear controls when it's actually going to retract based off when it's actually folded up and when we're deploying like so 
we're actually deploying an actual movement of a landing gear being deployed is what then triggers our landing pads uh, to unfold. So that is it in a nutshell. It's probably still very complicated. You'll probably see some tutorials on similar stuff a little later on, but this is just a quick overview of this crazy, crazy convoluted landing gear. Look at that. Now, you can probably make smaller versions of this. You can make ones where only just two fold out. Um, there's all kinds of different combinations that you could do, but this one's for quite a large ship, so you need to be able to manage your uh, interior, but also have some really uh, large surface area to keep your ship upright when you land. So that's the landing gear. Hope you've enjoyed this. My name is Bench. Thanks for watching.